In this video I will show you how you can program ESP32 in Visual Studio Code. Before we start, make sure that you have installed ESPIDF. You can check my last video to find out how you can install ESPIDF on Windows 10. Or if you prefer to work with Linux, a video about ESPIDF installation on Ubuntu 20.04 is on my channel. Ok, for coding ESP32 applications in Visual Studio Code, we need to have required environment variables. Go to Start and type Environment. Click on Edit the System Environment Variables. Click on Environment Variables. As you can see, we already have IDF Tools Path variable, which is set up automatically in my last video, by ESP IDF Tools Installer. Beside this, we need to have IDF Path variable, and Extensa Compiler Destination folder needs to be present on the path. The easiest way to get the value of IDF path and extensa destination is to open ESP IDF command prompt. Here is IDF path and here is extensa compiler destination. Click on new button. Variable name is IDF underline path and for value just copy this destination. Now click on path and then edit. Copy the destination of Extensa. Make sure that you have copies destination of ESP32 and not ESP32 S2. Click on New and paste it here. OK, OK, OK. Close this and open Visual Studio Code. Click on Extensions and search for C slash C++. Install this one from Microsoft. Once when the extension is installed, we can open ESP32 project. Now I will first show you how you can easily start new project and later I'm gonna to show you how to open existing project. So for new project I have prepared this boilerplate. All what is need is to download it and open in VS Code. You can clone it by this git command or if you want you can download it as zip file like this. After download move it to desktop and extract. Rename it to whatever you want. I will go with project-esp32. Go to VS Code and open this folder. As you can see, IntelliSense works perfectly and you can start with coding your project. For building, like in previous video, you need to open ESPIDF command prompt. Navigate inside project folder and invoke the same sequence of commands. Set target, menu config, build, and flash. Ok, now I will show you how you can open existing project. I have this hello world project from my last video. Go and open it in Visual Studio Code. As you can see, IntelliSense complains that most of the files were not found. Let's fix that. In the root of the project, create new folder with name .vscode. In that folder, create new file with name c underline cpp underline properties.json. Open the boilerplate repo again and go to vs code c cpp properties.json file. Copy the content and paste it to Visual Studio Code. Save this .json file and restart vs code. After restart, you can see that there is no errors anymore, which means that IntelliSense has found all files. That's it. You can go now and code some awesome ESP32 project. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Till the next time, see ya!